think it was in the spring of 2004, and I was playing music with some recorder players who had been invited to play for that service. I was very impressed, and I could tell that this was a very engaged community. When we came here, we just felt very connected to the sermons, so the sermons were at a level that we really feel like we were spiritually growing. Yeah, and just logistically, the, you look at Plymouth and the number of uh, great things they do for the community. You have a, a large group of people who want to be proactive in making the community a better place. I look forward to is the kids' time listening to stories and having the snacks they always have in the mornings because sometimes <laughs> I'm hungry in the mornings and whenever I come here, I like it. I like the food. <laughs> as soon as we became regular members, uh, we started trying to think about how to best support the church. Initially, we would give in the offering plate. Um, we would provide extra funding for special collections as those became available. You know, we want things like a good church service for our kids and uh, community outreach to those who aren't in the church. We, we like that this church is involved with that and helping of the homeless. If we try to be faithful, then we know that we have the privilege of spreading God's word, which takes um, funds, it takes material goods. Trying to hold on to your economic resources is not interesting to me. I think it's more interesting to think about what I can do with the resources that I have right now. and. One of the things that I can do is I can support the church and I see great benefit to that. I think what inspired us is we felt really connected with the church. And I think that's, the, that's, that's key. So I mean, if you don't feel connected, you know, you're not gonna really invest. That makes me feel like I'm connected to God, that I, I give one hour of my time to God and, and I still have a lot of time of the day to have fun but it's just one hour of the day and I just like giving time to God. And there are worthy, worthy places to give your charitable gifts. And, but the, the one big difference with the church is that it changes people's lives. I think you should definitely pledge and give your time to Plymouth. Where else, like, how often do you hear about a church that's so open and accepting and friendly and welcoming to all walks of life than here at Plymouth? I didn't know churches like this existed personally until we started coming here. The church stands for things we stand for, the values we look for, justice, caring for other people, and since they stand for those values, we have to support them. Giving to Plymouth or any you know any church really is is a journey. That first step is the hard one. You know, writing the first sentence in the essay, taking the first step on a thousand mile journey. Once you've made a commitment to that and you've gotten started, then I think it's something that you can continue to expand upon. We never have missed what we've given away. It has thrilled us to pieces to see that the character of Plymouth, the mission that it extends to all people as a welcoming place, and that means it has a wonderful future if we just keep working at it. As stewardship chair, I am grateful to our video participants for their testimonies in the life-giving practice of generosity. We now have an opportunity to deepen our faith in this spiritual practice. Last year, 66% of Plymouth's family units pledged. Let's make it 100%. Join us in the journey of generosity through your grateful living and giving. Make your pledge commitment today 